It's time for Geekiverse Girlfriend. Thank you for joining us for Geek vs. Girlfriend, the versus battle where me, the geek, take on her, the girlfriend, in a battle of wits, power, and more than likely, just guessing. So, last week, I asked you to look at the cover of Witches Number 1, and you said it's about a witch mm -hmm. who lures girls into the woods to make them become witches. Indeed. Were you right, or were you dead wrong? I'm dying tonight. She's dead wrong. I'm dying. So what was this about? Basically, it's about a girl named Sale who had a bully named Annie. And fucking Annie. I know. Fucking Annie's, man. They're all bitches. Anyway. Anyway, so... Annie was bullying her in the woods, and Annie may have gotten taken away by one of these witches. She and may have been pledged. What? She may have been pledged. Pledged. Yes. She's about to pull out a gun, pop a cap on that fool, like, nobody talk about my mama. Right. And then, and then boom, bam. taken away by a witch. Yep. So what is this story in general about? So it's basically a story about Sale and how she has anxiety really bad um, from that event. Um, it's about her and her dad. They have a really close relationship. He's a comic book writer. Yes. Or, yeah. Or no, just a, it's a book. Like a kid's story. Yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. a comic book. Then they move, her and her whole family moves to a new town because Sale is now known as a murderer. Because nobody obviously believes her that a witch came out of the tree and grabbed Annie. But basically, Sale is being haunted by this. She sees things. Um, a lot of people don't believe her, but her dad kind of does. Her dad is always on our side. So that's the gist of it. If I keep talking about it, I'm going to go into the further issues that I ended up reading. So that's just the first issue. That's what we see. Yep. So basically, it's about these... We know they're creepy unless mm -hmm. she's psychotic right. and sees these. So it's basically about witches and uh, you pledge people to them and we don't know what you get out of it, but you pledge them to them and they take care of it for you. Yep. But uh, you probably owe them something. So you were dead wrong, but what do you give this comic, comic. book experience Um, I by give Scott it... Snyder and Juck? <laughs> I give it a Christian Bale, and I think that's because I've read all the issues. The first one was pretty good, but once you start, like, really getting into them, then it really just makes the story that much better. It just keeps getting better and better and better, which is good. Yeah, I think there's six issues, and I think one of them was kind of like, eh, I don't know, but the yeah. rest of them were pretty good. Yeah. So I'm giving Witches number one a Christian Bale as well. So Witches number one by Scott Snyder and Jock is getting a Christian bail from Geeked Up. And I was dead wrong. Now, it is time for this week's Geek vs. Girlfriend where I bring you a comic book cover and you tell me what it's about. This week, it's by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughn and it is called Alex and Ada number one. Okay. This is about a... I'm trying to figure out what the heck is on her head. Okay, this is about a guy who is in love with this girl, Ada, I'm going to call her, and she has anxiety or mental issues about conspiracies, and so she has this tarp thing on her head to protect her from being infested by the world. The alien waves? Yes. So. And it's her, or him, Alex, watching, or is her name Alex? No, you have it right. Okay. <laughs> they're above, they're below their names. So, and Alex is just watching her being tormented, and he just feels so bad for her, and he's going to try to figure out a way to save her. 
Are you locking it in? Locking it in. Locking it in. Alex and Ada, number one, is about a man named Alex, a woman named Ada. Ada is disturbed. She wears a plastic tarp on her head to keep the alien waves away from her. She is a hardcore conspiracy theorist, and he just wants to help her. Find out next week if she is right or if she is dead wrong when we come back for Geek vs. Girlfriend. But now, let's get on to Girlfriend vs. Geek. Round Round two, two, fight, 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 fight. Okay, so last week I had asked you, what did an Oklahoma man do to get sentenced to 30 years in prison? Uh, You were a little more specific. Well, how did he kill his his uncle? Yeah. His stepfather. Oh, stepfather. (laughs) And you said he basically gave his stepfather a wedgie and killed him. Made him either have a heart attack or hit his head or something. Yeah. Hemorrhaging or something like that. This is so fucking creepy. You swear that you did not hear about this story. I swear I did not hear about it before you brought it up, but literally the next day it was on my Facebook feed. Was it? Yeah. So guys, literally this guy got sentenced to 30 years in prison for giving his stepfather an atomic wedgie and killing him. They were drawn, coursing around, gave him a wedgie, put it around his neck, his underwear band, and boom, he died. By asphyxiation. Who's the dead motherfucker now? So, I don't know. Can we say you're right? Yeah, he killed him by a wedgie. But you said from hemorrhaging. How did he die? From asphyxiation, I said. So I gotta be super, like, (laughs) vague in my (laughs) answers then? Uh, No! That's... Uh, really i got wedgie and you're not gonna give it to me i never said i wasn't i I think i get that one now if i would have said by asphyxiation only then no that's wrong because the the weird part about it is the wedgie wedgie. right so i get that bitch right and what a two in a row a terrible way to die i know (laughs) jesus that's what you get smelling your own shit stains god man oh Ew. But I honestly don't know if that guy should have been arrested either. They're both drunk, horsing around. It's an accident. 30 yeah. years? <laughs> yeah. What? Never move to Oklahoma and give your father or stepfather's atomic wedgies. Moral of the story. So, what do we got cooking this week? Okay. We got a police officer who was sent to the scene of an overturned tractor trailer. When he gets there, he's stuck in his car. He can't get out. What was released from that trailer that made him not want to get out of his car? He wasn't stuck. I shouldn't have said stuck. He just didn't want to get out. Right. Now, was this something illegal that the, the truck... No, it was not illegal. So it was a normal thing that's overturned. Mm-hmm. He does not want to get out of his thing. Mm-hmm. Um, first thing that comes to mind is Vaseline. Don't know why. Okay. But I'm going to say no to that. Uh, that'd be a terrible mess to clean up too. That would be disgusting. But I'm going to say he doesn't want to get out. Oh. I'm going to go with a crazy wild animal. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with... A, he comes up on the scene of an overturned tractor trailer and it had let loose tigers. Okay. Final answer, locking it in. Overturned tractor trailer, full of wild animals. Cop pulls up on the scene, does not want to leave because tigers are on the loose. All right. Well, we will lock that in and we will see if you are right next week. And that is it for Geek vs. Girlfriend. Let us know what you thought about our stories, our comics, our issues. Let us know maybe what we should do next time. And if you have maybe an idea of what those are, 
you can tell us in the comments below. So get that conversation started. And we will respond to each and every one of you. You can also tell us on Facebook and Twitter at the links below as well. But until next time, as always, stay geeked up and always hug a xenomorph. Always. <laughs> <laughs>